My initial testing of the HDMI 2.1 port on a 14-inch M2 MacBook Pro connected to an LG C1 OLED TV was successful at being able to run at 4K resolution, 120Hz refresh rate, and HDR enabled. Here's the VRR menu showing it running at full YCBCR444 at 10 bits. That's the good news. But the bad news is that I found that there's some serious limitations to this setup due to how Apple implements its display scaling. First, a brief explanation of resolution scaling in macOS. Apple introduced the Retina display a long time ago on its phones and computers with built-in displays. So the characteristic of a Retina display is to make the image a lot sharper by rendering four times as many pixels, two times the width and two times the height than you would normally need. macOS can run a display at its native resolution, for example, a 4K or UHD display at 3840 by 2160. But to make the image sharper, macOS does follow this retina display principle as well when it uses resolution scaling. That means it can show a user interface that looks like the size of a 1920 by 1080 or a 1080p screen by actually rendering at 2160p in order to use four times as many pixels, increasing sharpness. That's why by default, the 5K displays found in the previous 27 inch iMac and now the Apple Studio displays are sharp, but still so readable. The resolution looks like the size of a 1440p screen, but actually uses four times as many pixels, increasing sharpness. And that's where the problem lies with the HDMI 2.1 support in the new M2 Pro and M2 Max machines. The HDMI port has enough bandwidth for scale 1080p, rendering at 2160p at 120Hz with HDR. However, if you want to set the scaled resolution to anything higher than 2304 by 1296, which is rendering at 4608 by 2592, you won't be able to enable HDR at 120Hz. That includes the scaled 1440p resolution that macOS supports on 5K display machines such as the iMac 5K and Apple Studio Display. I find that size to be a great balance between screen real estate for readability and sharpness, and I would like to use it on my LG C1. Unfortunately, you can only go up to 100Hz refresh rate and still have HDR at scaled 1440p. Go any higher than 1440p, including scaled 3008 by 1692, 3200 by 1800, or 3360 by 1890, and you'll be limited to just 60Hz if you still want to use HDR. I did find a way to improve the situation just a little bit. There are several programs out there like Better Display that let you add additional resolution options. Through my testing, I found that I could go as high as 2400 by 1350 while still maintaining a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and get 120 hertz HDR. That's about 125% of 1920 by 1080 compared to the default 2304 by 1296 resolution that you can set out of the box at 120%. It's not quite 2560 by 1440p, but it is 93.75% of the way there, and the round numbers do look nice. If you go any higher than that, you'll need to step down the refresh rate or lose HDR. I don't know if there's a better way to get around this limitation or enable higher scaled resolutions. The UI for the HDR toggle goes away as soon as the combination of the resolution and the refresh rate are higher than a certain limit, which means that they implemented logic specifically to handle this case. Therefore, I think it may be a limitation in the HDMI 2.1 port bandwidth and not just a bug in macOS. Windows, on the other hand, allows you to customize the scale factor, so you can, for example, render at 4K resolution, but then scale the UI up by 150%, which also gets you close to the 1440p size. The sharpness isn't as good as 200% scaling, but it's still better than no scaling. If anyone out there has better solutions to this, please do let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day.